Okay, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Wrestling Stand the Podcast. We're joined by a, a legend, uh, Billy Bell, America, uh, Karen Lynch, uh, Phoenix Wrestling. We have Phil Conley, who's absolutely motherfucking burnt. <laughs> I, I, I'm a small bit burnt, but Phil is, <laughs> Phil is the color That's of the what I guess, not wearing sun cream. That's my Always wear sun cream. Finn. Always wear sun cream. Um, and of course, we're joined by uh, Booker G and Queen Lizzie. And they're back. They've, uh, how was how was Rome, guys? How was Italy? Look, look really cool. Just just as warm. Very hot. Just, we almost got just as burned as Phil did. Thankfully, we brought, yeah, sun, we cream. brought sun cream, Phil. <laughs> it don't look like we went to the sun for a few days. You know, <laughs> it was very Icarus, good. Icarus. Mother of God. <laughs> I love it. No, we have to mention quickly the show is brought to you by manscaped.com. Uh, do check out the 4.0 package and use the promo code WrestleSlam for all the goodies right there at 20% off free delivery manscaped.com now first of all unfortunately we were on twitter the other day and some news uh, you know I mean? when, when news breaks first of all it's you know what i mean you, you always wonder uh like you know you know you could have looked into it it hits you it hits your hair you know you you kind of sleep in it but this was a great news obviously phoenix wrestling we know obviously billy's you know he's iconic here in cork for wrestling i call him mr cork wrestling i, I call him that for many years but uh, Billy, obviously, look, there's, there's news that has broken you after retire, unfortunately. And I know, I know that's something you don't want to do, personally. I know we, we, we were lucky enough mm. to see it a couple of weeks ago in the keynote, the return of Kino. That entrance yeah. is iconic. You're, you're wrestling, you know, it's brilliant. So, like, what's what's happened? It's it's obviously come to a halt and an end. Um, can you just tell us what's actually happened? It's it's not nice news. Yeah, no, it's not. Like, it's, it's, not, um, it's not something that's happening immediately, immediately, when I say... Like I, it's probably another two or three months before I have to get I have to get surgery basically in my stomach. It's um it's complicated enough to be honest with you, and it's but it's something that has to be done because it, I have an ongoing issue that's that's plagued me for years and it's not getting any better. It's getting worse. It's not life threatening or anything. However, it will give me a better quality of life, and if I don't do it, it could lead to further complications, which is with, with stuff that you don't even want to talk about. You know what I mean? Scary stuff. Yeah. So I don't really have an option. I'm at the time in my forties now, forty-three. I kind of, I think to myself, I've achieved everything I want to achieve in wrestling as a performer. Um, I'm lucky enough to be still going at forty-three. Lucky enough to be one half of the tag team champions for Titanic Bang Bang. Um, yeah. I can still pull an entrance out off, you know, and, and uh, I had a lot of fun in the keynote last day. So, I'm it's I'm not. I'm not a bit upset over it, to be honest with you. But I was actually devastated. I was devastated when I first heard. But now I'm like, well, I'm still going to, I'm going to just solely focus on Phoenix Wrestling as a promoter and making sure we're, that product is growing and that we're growing every show, every year uh, and whatnot. So I got a kind of a couple of, of, a couple of matches that I'm going to have before I go. I won't be wrestling in the Kino um, the next day. I think I won't be wrestling in the Kino again, unfortunately. That was my that the last time was the last time you'll probably see me in the Kino. Um but I have a couple of I have a couple up my sleeve and I just I'm gonna do kind of do what I want for a couple of matches, maybe two or three. Um and that's it then. Unfortunately, um I need to take a step away from even Phoenix for a while because the surgery takes a long time to recover from. So I'll probably put everything on hold just for I think it's 12 weeks of take off work and stuff. So take that time off. Um, and and come back to Phoenix stronger than ever, uh, with uh, with with my corporate hat on, as they say, and just be 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 the be the promoter. Billy, tell us about your first match all all them years ago. Look, obviously we know I call you Mr. Cork Wrestling, and you you know you're iconic in, on the Irish scene in general. But like your first match, you know, like where did that love for wrestling come? And and tell us about your first match. I think my first, yeah, thanks very much for the for the lovely, lovely comments, even on Twitter and everything. I was, it made it easier. I, I was in a bit, bit of shock on Wednesday, but it made it easier seeing a lot of, a lot of support. That's all it is, is good people um, messaging me and private messaging me and all that kind of stuff. And you, you, you did yourselves and it was lovely to see. And thanks very much. Very um, nice. But like Cork Wrestling is nothing without, like, without people like yourselves who are promoting it from a podcast perspective and a media perspective as well. So like, my like uh you know we, we kind of know each other well now and like it, mm. one hand washes the other i think in, in relation to the scene we're all one big unit uh, if you know what i mean um but my first match i think um geez, it was years ago ccw i wrestled in middleton um i mess i wrestled i 
Uh, so it was a kind of a, f- a five man elimination gimmick. It was Ricky Combat, uh, Ace Andrews, who is back wrestling again, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say. Um, f- the artist formerly known as, um, he's Mr. Charlie Noah, I can't what was oh, his yeah. oh, God. Jason, Jason Max, Jason yeah, Max, yeah. he was known as there, and another um, uh, CCW Lee Callan Stooge, uh, um, Connor the Body. So it was the five of us. We had a we had a bit of a knock, um, but then I made my proper debut. Went on and, and you know on the next show was the Summer Brawl, I believe. It was up the Glen. It was in a rumble. I was there. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it. yeah. And my green, my green Finley tights, uh, yeah, yeah. and I was calling myself the Lynch Finn. <laughs> Thinking I was the best thing that ever hit the Irish wrestling scene, yellow boots and green tights, and uh, got a t shirt printed the linchpin. And somebody was like, What's that mean? I was like, I don't know. So <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't really, I didn't clue what I was doing, to be honest with you, but it was really, it was really fun. And um, it was eight years ago this summer, so but, you know, I've knocked a good, I've got good innings, as they say. Like, you know, I've um, I've had one or two niggly injuries, right? Like, but I mean, nothing, nothing that was um, any kind of long term thing. So look. I won't be I, at, at my age. I'm never going to WWE. I, I think I'm, I won't be on ever on OTT. I, I've, I've done everything else in Irish wrestling, and I'm delighted to have a so, association with Titanic and Fight Factory from a business perspective. And um, like I'm just I'm going to go out and enjoy the next couple of things that I do. Really enjoy it, knowing what I'm that I have nothing else to give. I've no regrets either. By the way, it's just it's yeah. it's it's not it's not an overall sad story. I don't think it's but everything has to come to an end and. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so there we go. And like, Billy, what will you miss most as a wrestler? Look, we know as a promoter, you're an absolute genius. You know, we were lucky enough to be at your last show, and uh, like myself and Matt, we were just blown away. Like, you know what I mean? The fact that, uh, you know, Karen Noor was there, um, Malik the Reese, mm. uh, it's 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 on the up, and we're seeing obviously, you know what I mean, step by step. It gets like, you know, like, we're, we're saying, you come to the next show. I know, but we're saying we're saying every show, how can they, how can they top like it can't be topped, and then you top it the next time, you top it the next time. I'm like. Fucking hell, this is magic. But like the next show is gonna be incredible. And like, like what, what are you gonna miss most about the wrestling? Because look, we know your matches are great, you know what I mean? There's um as you say, entrance wise, they're fucking they're iconic. But like, what's gonna be the hardest part for you walking away? Because like, in my opinion, yeah. you're probably gonna say, like, maybe you do have unfinished business because it's it's not like you haven't been enjoying it the last couple of years. No, CCW is where you started. Obviously, look, Phoenix mm. came along, it, it's blowing everything out of the way, and it's incredible, but like was there ever any any thoughts? Look, and I know it's probably hard because you're a promoter, and, and and you know, I mean, you're you're Mr. Phoenix. But like, any thoughts of maybe a title run down the road, or maybe belts, or something like that? Because I think, personally, that's something the fans would have wanted to see. Yeah, no, no is the is the is the easy answer on that one. Um, I would never be one to put a belt on myself. I don't believe in it as a promoter. I don't think it's a good look. Um. And there's people there that are better wrestlers that'll have better matches that deserve the push. I mean, I don't think I need it as such. Do you know what I mean? I still, I go, I know my place in the card. I love the connection with the fans. That's what I'm gonna miss most. By the way, the entrance and the, and 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 the, and the fan and and the being in the ring and just chat like you know you say something funny or if somebody would say something and you would just do something. That's the bit I'm gonna really miss. You know, um, but. No, I don't think so. Um, I think the, I have plans for. I know who who my guys are, who I want, um, and they're doing a fantastic job. The the, the people that hold the belts, it, it's not something that I, I I hold it very seriously. Belt holders, like I'm lucky enough to have a. I'm lucky enough that I was given the opportunity to 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 um to hold a Titanic belt. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I at least I, I have you know I I have that I have that and I'm I'm delighted with that because it's something that's not in my promotion that's just something that's earned and I love to have the trust um the all from the Titanic boys so I'm still I'm still the belt holder and um I myself and Butch are going to hold on to those as long as we possibly can. Definitely. Now the fact obviously that you're obviously the the retirements you know it's it's coming. There's going to be a few matches which I'm glad you said. That we're still going to get to see one or two. I'm still praying that we do see in yeah. Cork for one more time. I think I think the fans would deserve that. Like I think it's something the fans would want as well. Like you know, just to see you have that mm. one more match in Cork. But do you think it's is the case though? Like you can go full on with promoting, even though you're doing that already. Is it the case of right? Yeah. I don't have to. I don't have to wrestle tonight in Cork. And look, yeah. there's a big show. I, I can you know what I mean? I do you know something? Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to be thinking about 
next year already, right? Where do we want to go? I mean, I love the Kino, but I think we're too big for the Kino now. And I don't mean that in a big headed way. I can see the ticket sales for next show. We're, we're, we're literally going to be jam packed in this, the biggest show we've ever done. Yeah, and we, we, things were tight at the last show as well. To be fair, and I actually capped the tickets. I could have sold a lot more in the last show. You could have got more in there. We we were saying that they, you could have got an extra two, three, four hundred. Oh, there was no doubt about it. Yeah, but do you see, you're, you're limited. You're limited from a perspective. Like the capacity is two hundred. That's without the ring. So I got. I have. I'm. My hands are tied to a certain degree from a legality point of view, and I respect the Kino a hundred percent and their owners. Um, but like there's other options that we have and I've been working on them and I have them in my back pocket that uh, you guys will be the first to know trust me but there's a couple I, of cool things happening have you, have, you ever, have you ever looked at the School of Music? Uh, no They do have a mass of like hall in there Where's that? It's down the key it's near key? City. Yeah Interesting no, I haven't t- I'll take a look Where's at that Charlie's, yeah, I Interesting yeah, yeah, take a look at that I have a couple of things that I'm working on. Um, one or two, like you need a, we, we need a, we need a, we need an arena basically that can that can we can fluctuate between doing. We want to do three hundred people or we want to do hundred people because sometimes sometimes budgetary requirements. Myself, we, we do a smaller show, we do a bigger show. Yeah. Um, we're not always going to scale it too hardy, but like um, we also need somewhere. The, the, the only negative thing about the Kino is there's no backstage area for wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. That in this day and age, that's something that unfortunately, as much as I love it, it's probably our, our next show on the Kino is probably our last because we can't facilitate a backstage area. We definitely can't do it in the winter time. It's okay, you now maybe during the summer. It was pissing rain the last day, and we, we were like, you can't just be outside and there's no change rooms for men and women and stuff. It just doesn't work. I'd love to say it did, but I don't have a solution. I actually have a hotel room down the road booked. For Scotty Duradi and LJ and, and the girls changing rooms, and that's that's extra that's extra money I don't I could do with out having yeah. so. No, but it's it's just worth looking into that. It's just worth looking into it. I will, yeah, I will. But there's a couple of like trust me when I when I say I have already some stuff in the pipeline when it comes to mm-hmm. venues that are going to go your way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 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 we're in a great place. So, me concentrating solely on promoting, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Um. Mm-hmm. Because I'm comfortable doing that, and I, I want to make sure that the production is is gets better, and that every show we do is is um, top, if we can gets a little bit better. I mean, there's only there's small things you can do every time, and we've got um we've got the hardcore extreme gimmick work we're kicking off as well in Limerick, and I think I'll bring that to Cork as well. Uh, hint, hint, last match, um, uh, maybe September, uh-huh. October direction, so. You know, there's there's a few things there that we're, we're looking at, and circus factories. We can we can fit 200 people in circus factories. Well, that's a great venue, uh, and people love BYOB. So there's a, there's no downside to it. I don't think. I love it. And look, just speaking of the last keynote, obviously that return. You know, we were lucky enough to be there, and it was a it was unbelievable, wasn't it? As you say, you could have got three mm. four hundred more through the door. Um, it was perfect. The atmosphere was incredible. Interaction with the fans, the matches. Uh, yep. The Backstreet Boys singing, you know what I mean? The title changes. There's, there was a lot of stuff happening in general, but like, you know I mean, obviously it was incredible. And, you know, what was what was your take? And that obviously it was a great show. Yeah, I really liked it. I think um, I was, um, I really liked, uh, I have watched it back. We'd be releasing it anyway, actually, this week. There was a slight delay. We had some technical issues. But um, we'd be releasing the show on YouTube. It's not the weekend. Um... The highlights, I really liked my own match, to be honest with you, because, I mean, mm-hmm. I kind of, I had an inkling that this was coming. I just didn't have confirmation, so I was I was nearly crying when I was doing my entrance because the emotion was was really high. Um, so I really enjoyed that personally. But um, from, a, from a professional standpoint, I was delighted for Steve Savage. Um, I think he's the right man at the right time. Um, it was unfortunate just he couldn't make it, but... We have two champions now. Let's see what happens in the next show. But I, I was really happy with that. It was, it was a big step up. Karen Noir is a, is a step up in class. Yeah. He's never wrestled nobody like him before. And he won't wrestle anyone like him again for quite some time, if you know what I mean, unless I bring him over. But what I mean is, like, there's only... There's, he's a... Karen Noir is at elite level. Incredible. LJ Cleary is an elite level. There's not too many of those around, I don't think. Um, I witnessed Karen Noir and LJ Cleary in the fight factory the night before. And it was the best match I've seen in my two eyes. Ever, it was that good. So um, the highlights: Karen Noir's entrance, that one match. Um, 
But I really like the boys as well, the 0121. I think they were really cool. Brilliant. Um I got on really well with them, uh Jula as well. Um I think we'll be seeing him back in uh, in the hardcore stuff as well. He's the TNT heavyweight champ, so it makes sense. Uh he's he's a great guy, so I think we'll be seeing him back in Cork as well. I love it. And just quickly, fast. And of course, more. Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie. <laughs> he was awesome. epic. That was yeah. so fucking good. Oh, like, that was so good. Oh. Mr. Charlie is over his rover, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was his so best good. performance, <laughs> and, and he was just being a wizard. So, you know, um, uh, so I think the, that, that type of thing, uh, me being not being there, Mr. I think Phoenix is in good hands. We've got some really good wrestlers. One night standers are really good. I love, I love yeah. watching the boys. Um uh, and Mr. Charlie and whatnot. So just just loads. We've lads, we've loads of talent. Like and, um, it's, it's, it was an epic night, and the next the next night is gonna be epic as well. No, I, love I keep pinching it. myself when I see Scotty Duhati retweeting the uh, poster. Like, like ah, Scotty Duhati, he's iconic. Uh, Joe, I know if you what Joe, Joe has a few things to say as well. I know Joe, I have a few questions. So Joe, what do you want to say, my man? I'm I'm just looking forward to the show on the 23rd. Um. Mm. Do we have any uh, any more matches announced? I know there's a few already on the card. Mm-hmm. Is there any more to be announced yet, or is everything out there? No, Jesus, there's a few more to be announced, but um, I won't lie to you when I say I haven't made my mind up yet for a few things because I just have I have I had something and then I changed my mind, and it's 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 a tough this is a tough card to put together because yeah, yeah. like you have. Obviously, there's um, there's a there's 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 a, a rematch, or we've at the, the, the we we're, there's a, there's been a rematch being asked for with Debbie Fitel and Anita Vaughn. Yeah, that there's an announcement surrounding that and, and whatnot. Um, we have our announcement for the main. We have our announcement for a tag team, and today I announced Sasha Mott Martina, yeah, and uh, Fabius Nicky, and obviously Scotty Tawadi, and Andrew Cleary. However, me being me, I ferociously overbook shows, so um. There's going to be a good a few matches left to, to be announced. Um, we're going to see uh, a return for uh, a guy that hasn't been in Cork for quite some time. I think he was on our second show. He was a CCW stalwart, um, DCT. He's 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 coming over. Um, he'll be involved in some sort of a match with Jay Money for the Hardcore Hard Hard Knocks title. Um, haven't finalised that yet. That what that's going to look like. And then there's one or two other bits. And we're um, as as of last Saturday, I was so impressed with the guys at the NXP uh, that yeah. I'm putting I'm putting a pre-show match, um, bef- uh, kind Brilliant. of a dark match before yeah. to showcase the yeah. talent. Yeah, yeah. I got um, I got two guys from the north, the Hallians from Titanic Wrestling. I got a couple of guys from Fight Factory, and I got um, I got some from from um. I got a, I got a couple of debuts as well from Phoenix, from guys that are just coming through, um, and, and maybe there's some some other people returning after being out for a long time, in that mm-hmm. regard. So it'll be kind of tornado tag stuff. It'll be it's good to get people experience and 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 get people um, that uh, like the NXP is there for, just the trainees basically getting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they get How do they get on shows and what do they aim for and whatnot? With such a good time on Saturday, I was like, look, lads, I'm going to put I'm going to give you a spot on the show. If you impress me, and a lot of people did, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, as, soon as, as, soon as, as soon as I get the graphics together, I think we'll. But Friday to next week, there'll be a lot of stuff announced, and we start getting some promos and whatnot. And uh, I'm chatting to Rory as well in Red FM this yeah. week as well, uh, getting some more media out there. And like, we're, we're. I'm not telling you how many tickets we've sold, but I have never sold as many tickets for show. That's the stairs, man. That's the start. Do you think uh, the main event will that be the last we see of Terry Thatcher begging for a title match? Or well, if he wins it, um, he'd be defending it. Um, yeah, I mean, Terry never got pinned or never. Um, well, he's never lost in Phoenix Wrestling. But it's just his point. There's been big gaps in, in his um, in his you know in, in his appearances first, you know, through COVID and all that other stuff. Yeah. But like. He's well warranted to be in the title picture. And when I was putting together, obviously, Steve is the interim. Justy has to defend the belt. But, like, yeah. there's no point in having a main event on the anniversary show without someone like Terry Thatcher, who main evented our first show. Um, and we all know the calibre. He's a, he's in the same bracket as Karen Warren, as you hear from me. He's elite. He's one of the best in Europe. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. So, who knows? Triple threat rules, so... 
triple threat rules, anything goes, you know. Um, oh. anything, anything goes in the queue, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And the other thing as well is we'll um we're gonna get the ring out into a van as quick as I'm humanly possible because we're having an after party in the keynote. I have it booked till one o'clock in the morning. Epic. They have a late they have a late license, so we're uh, they have a late license now, so we're one of their first gigs. I know that they have one or two lined up already, but we're we'll see how it goes, you know. Um but literally, I'm just going to fuck the fuck the ring into the van as quick as I possibly can, just close the door and go, right, everyone's getting pissed. Is there going to be music? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. We're going to do some uh, wrestling karaoke. Oh, uh, uh, yes. And kind of stuff. So, um, yes. yeah, we we'll go crack. Ah, should we go crack? Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it fucking on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on. what's the crack? What do you want to do? I to say, obviously, look, we, we're, we're good at that. You know, but he's got to retire. Something that we don't want to see happen, but... Uh, well, should, you're obviously looking forward to, to Scotty coming to Cork and, and the show and all that. Therefore, yeah. I mean, for sure, gutted over Billy. I mean, we all are, you know, and um, totally understand the disappointment. Uh, but, you know, if it's your health, you know, it's one thing, mm-hmm. right? You know, that, that's what, if, if it was, you know, because you're just like not feeling the love or lost the passion for it, that's something else. But when it's, it's it's it makes that bit of a harder decision when it's you kind of you're you're not so much coarse but you're almost kind of forced into making the decision which doesn't make it easier mm-hmm. having said that wrestling in ireland i don't think is in any better hands for the future to be honest because it's one thing being able to bring it to be strong enough to be able to bring in bring stars and attract attention but to be able to nourish those who have an interest and maybe who are a little bit nervous um, working with similar promotions in similar situations. I mean, the foundations that f- for the future are just phenomenal. They're so strong and the connection has been made. I can't wait to see what Irish wrestling has. And I think there's nobody else um, more well equipped to be at the helm than Kieran, you know, but I like but Kieran. Um, so, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just... You used to call me Kieran, no, I suppose. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the artist formerly known as. But um, I really, I'm, I'm, really I'm do... Always, think... always bedlam, always bedlam. That's why I have a For fucking sure. tattoo. I have a tattoo to my arm, like, fucking... Oh, yes. I can't get away from it. Let's get it legally changed, I'd say. <laughs> and, yeah, um, yeah. But I think as well, though... Um, I don't think it would be such a bad idea as well to see uh, Billy maybe like down the line in a bit of a William Regal role, you know, in the Cork Blackpool Combat Club, you know, so because we've got our own Blackpool, you know, so we can definitely have one. <laughs> and um, for sure. And as well, because I, I think I'd make, he'd make a savage heel um, manager. That's my own opinion. Um, um, the party note as well. Billy, what is your go-to karaoke song? Watch oh, me. 100% Frank Snatch on my way. Go on. Do you know? Love it. But that's not, I, 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 I'm not just saying it. Like, I've, I've always, I've always done things my own way in life, my jobs, and I've always tried to live my life my own way. And I love singing that song because it's fucking true. Like, if there's ever two words that sum it up or whatever, I do do, do things my way. Um, and I, and, and I, yeah, that's why I love singing that song. Yeah. I know, uh, Jerry, you Jerry, Jerry, you can sing and never walk alone, and I might join in just as much. Fucking hell! Yeah, yeah. Bring it yeah, but uh, it'd be good crack. It'd be good night. I love. Thanks very much for, for for saying those kind of words. Like, yeah. you never say never. Never. I won't be wrestling again because I know I never say never. I fuck that because it's it's too important for my health. But you, you, the, the, like you could there could be a non down the line something when I do a non screen character or something, but. Not for, I've no I've no appetite for it because I was always either a wrestler or I love wrestling it. I get a I get a buzz out of it. I love promoting it, I get a buzz out of it. I never had a, a real interest in doing the manager thing or, or anything like that. It just doesn't appeal to me. So um that's having that being said, I might be able to walk the ropes once or twice that you never know. But, uh, and William might be around as well, so you never know who you never know who when he might pop in. Never I know. I love it. Philly. I know you're so burnt, and I know you could be <laughs> in CUH in the next fucking hour or two, but like, no. obviously, look, I know you're a massive Phoenix fan. I know, look, Phil goes right back to the days where there was stuff, the, the, the kind of fucking stuff, you know, the early days of wrestling in Cork, you know, when Batter came to do seminars and you've been sure. there. Like, so obviously, Phil, it's, it's not good news that I uh, look, 
Billy's obviously, you know, he's got to have to put the boots up very soon. Yeah. But look, it's it's um, Phoenix as a as, as a whole is incredible, isn't it? Like you know, we we've been to a lot of the shows. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, so it's like I've never seen someone work so hard as yourself, Billy. Like just putting everything together. Yeah. And I know that you when when you first started, like you kind of had Luke, but then he was gone, mm. and it was kind of all on your own. You were kind of doing it all yourself. It must have been fucking intense. Yeah, you are. You guys actually see me on show there because you you know you come in a bit early. Like I've seen, I'm just like, yeah. blah, 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 blah. like I put that down and trying to fucking wrestle the match as well. I'm nearly relieved to be fair. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not like, but you know what I mean. It is, it is. There is a lot going on, um, on on show there. And, um, I will look. There's plenty. Like I, I do get support from people as well. I mean, people like I, I don't, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But Jesus Christ, yeah, it, there's a lot of hard work goes into them. Because people are people are doing their own thing, like they're doing this, they're talking to somebody else, they're planning a match, and I'm just fucking running around to this going. But even, even between shows work? there, you're fucking Cork to Limerick and Dublin and up the north. Yeah. It's just yeah. all is going man. <laughs> I've done ten thousand miles in six months. Um I've clocked on the I've clocked on the car there since January. I got a car in January and I clocked in ten thousand miles in, in six months. So I'm not doing that tonight the next six months. Fuck the but it's you know what I wouldn't change it either Phil you know I mean like you go back a long way in Cork Wrestling as well um, yeah yeah Phoenix is Phoenix is what it is now but Cork Wrestling scene is what I see it like it sees so CCW had a big integral part of playing it as well because that got that got the scene off the ground and we we took I think we just took to to new level and Eventually, you know, someone else will come in uh, down, years down the line um, and, and do, do the most important thing is the Cork wrestling scene stays alive. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's 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 my turn now, my responsibility, I think, to do it. Um, and yeah, it's busy, but it's enjoyable. I, I wouldn't swap it for anything, to be fair. Sure, it's all part of the journey, the next step. Oh, yeah, big time. It sure is, yeah, it sure is. And we have, we're not like, Four years is, is I know we missed the year with COVID, but Jesus Christ, we've just a lot we've had a lot of matches, we've had a lot of shows, ups and downs, um, good times, bad times. You know, when we were closing the gym last year in Cork, year and a half ago, we were having a chat and Jesus Christ, it wasn't a dry eye in the house. We was very, very bleak outlook at that point. But we never we never we we dug in and you know, we get support from the likes of you guys all the time and the supporters, the fans come to the show, uh, and the wrestlers that 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 have rallied around us as well. So we're in a great place, and I think we're just going to have a big celebration on, on, on in two weeks' time. A big celebration in two weeks' time. And then we move on, and we go see what's the next step, you know? Mm-hmm. Bring it around. Bring it around. No. Lizzie, I'm going to get you to quickly. We have uh, about six minutes left. Liv Morgan, champ, champ, finally after all these years. Now, Phil is pissed off. He reckons she's going to lose the belt very soon. But what's your take on Liv Morgan becoming champ? It was great to see it, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Delighted for Liv. I mean... The the rest of the universe has been behind Liv for so, so long. You know, everybody's been digging in for Liv and just, you know, God, being online or at shows, the support and the pop she gets is always up there. And I mean, finally, when, when she won Money in the Bank, unbelievable. She got a huge pop and they really, really are hot for her. Um, I hate to say that I am a little bit veering with Phil, because yeah. I'm worried that she's just a placeholder champion until Charlotte returns. Because mm-hmm. ideally, I would much prefer if Charlotte went after Bianca because that's something I want to see, you mm-hmm. know. But um, I can just, I just feel bad for Liv. You know, I don't think I, I'm not. I've, I'm just worried that she's going to get the big E treatment. You know that we all were like so so happy when they won, it, and then they just completely just the air went out the balloon, you know. So um, yeah, I can see how that can happen, but I'm. Sending all the energy out into the universe to veer Charlotte towards Bianca Belair because that is a match I'm interested in. I think they will have stellar matches if they book it right. No, I love that. I love that. Phil, what's your take quickly on, on Liv Morgan? Look, you you, you said it's going to go to hits up, is it? Well, the problem is if they don't care about her, why should we care about her? You know what I mean? Mm. So I reckon that she should beat Ronda and Ronda should just go into a tag, tag run with Shayna for eight months or six months yeah up to mania like well they're clearly doing becky randa at wrestlemania so yeah no it'll be interesting mm-hmm. it'll be interesting um 
Billy, what's your take on Liv Morgan? Look, obviously, we see champions come and go. Obviously, look, Rhonda, she, she dropped the belt. Charlotte's on the mm. break of coming back. We don't know what's happening with Sasha Banks. Now, you know, me, apparently, they're gone. Apparently, they're not gone. Maybe it's time for Anita Vaughn to step in, or maybe uh, Raven Creed to sort out, sort out business. No better girls. Or Debbie Kaitel. Uh, Debbie, yeah, and Sesh Mark. Yeah, if Debbie Kaitel wins um, grappling games, by the way, she'll be the first ever Irish Grand Slam champion because she'll be Titanic, Phoenix, Fight Factory, and then a lovely women's champ. Not, not all at the same time, but she'll be the first Grand Slam mm-hmm. champion. I don't think anybody can boast that, male or female. Um, to be honest with you, so um, anyway, uh, yeah, well, I just I, I'm a big fan of Charlotte Flair, like, I won't like you, I think she's brilliant, I um, always have been. Um, I do, I think there's a bit of um, I think they're they're filling a gap with Liv Morgan, right? But sometimes they, they, they test it out. Mankind was a uh, was a was a was a, was a temporary champ, and, and you know, it, it sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It, 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 the proof will be in the pudding if they go back to her again at some point. But if it's the big E treatment, which is unfortunate, like Kofi Kingston as well, sometimes yeah. they just they, they give somebody a quick shot and they go, nah, that didn't work. And then they never get a shot again, which is very unfortunate. But time will have to tell. Uh, time will tell. But like she did get a massive pop. And sometimes sometimes that's good enough for people to, 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 to take a punt on her, you know? So we'll see. No, interesting times. Um, yeah. There's been a lot happening. Obviously, guys, look, we, we know there's a lot of matches going to be. Um, Set up as well for SummerSlam. Uh, we'll talk about that in the midweek show. <laughs> Obviously, um, we know there's more allegations about Vince McMahon. That would be interesting to talk about in due course. We don't know if it's true or not, but supposedly there's been more money allocated to um, females. I don't know if it's true or not. It's it's trending. It's it's it seems to be legit. So we don't know what's going to happen. But maybe this is the end for Vince now. After this coming out as well, I don't know. Will he be back? Um, maximum male models that they're there. I was watching, I was at work Friday, right and I just happened to look at the screen and I was like, What the fuck is going on? But this is oh, transition from Vince to maximum male models. He's not joining them, was he? <laughs> ah. It's just, it's just, it's just a bit, bit bizarre. And then obviously, look, we know Seamus was due to fight uh, Drew McIntyre. Seamus pulled a COVID card, he was coughing. Um, so look. Clash of the Castle, you know, it's 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 there's a lot gearing up nicely, so we'll we'll mention that in the midweek show as well. Guys, just uh, just one just yeah. one quick thing there. I think they're splitting up the beds two hundred percent. Um, they have to. Terry, yeah. good, Terry, Terry will be WWE champion. At Summer, at Summer Slam. At Summer, yeah. Well, you yeah. did great, Terry, on that, didn't you? Hey, hey. That's mama didn't raise no fucking fool. I'm telling you now. No, nah, it's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. It's not a theory. It's just a saying that it's the last man standing match, and Brock and Roman will take each other out, and no people will get up, and Theory will come out, cash in while the two boys are down, and they'll get counted to ten, and he'll be champion without having to do anything. Yeah, that makes sense. He has to win with maximum heat. That's the only way he's going to be taken seriously. Theory will, if he cashes in and is successful, it has to be with the maximum amount of heat. Yeah, but how like just quickly, how like just like Roman has two beds, so is it the case of like he has to declare what bed he's going for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he's going to say to the ref, I want the WWE championship. Yeah, or, like, yeah. yeah it'll be interesting, interesting, yeah. interesting. Um, right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Big thanks to everyone that tunes in every week. And um, we're also on um Spotify, so do check out the rest of Stan podcast there as well. Um as you say, Phoenix is back this July. Scotty Too Hotty will be in Cork. A massive show. There you head as well. There's going to be a big after party in the keynote. The ring shall be gone in about... It's not going to be 10 minutes, I'd say. It's probably 15 minutes, maybe. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. We'll, we'll be there to help. We'll help you. Take it We're, going to help you. We're going to help you. Anyone that wants to help and that has a safe pass, you can more than welcome help. Um, looking forward to it, guys. Uh, Billy, thank you for coming on. Phil, in the midst of you getting sunstroke, thank you for coming on. And Lizzie and Joe, welcome back. It's great to have you back as well. As you said, we uh, you know, we had to take a little break last week as we were all away doing our thing. But we will be back for a midweek show this week as well. So do stay tuned. This show will go Tuesday as well, guys. And don't forget SummerSlam. Uh, it's upon us. And also, look, Scotty Too Hardy, Phoenix Wrestling. Um, it's going to be anniversary. It, it, it's, it's just going to be, you know what I mean, surreal. Do check it out. More announcements to come. Stay on the Phoenix Twitter page and you shall see. So we'll catch you all soon, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, guys. Bye-bye.